My man. Do you see the crowd out no, there? No, do, do I? Do you see it? <sighs> look, look, I am glad you made it. Here, listen, when we are up there, if yeah. you ever feel out of your depth, just give yourself a little, come on, I just give this, yourself man. a little ear tug, and I'll jump right in, all right? Bro, I play in front of 30,000 people. <laughs> I got this. Look, I'm sure you will. Just, you know, in case you aren't, I'm here. I'm here for you. All right. All right? Gotcha. Let's make that happen. Yes, sir. Whew. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. <laughs> when you harness your passion, you harness your future. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, now. OK, OK. Next question. Hmm? Oh, how about you? Yes, you in the red. What can we learn from each other? I'm sorry. Yes. I actually thought this was uh, a real estate convention, so I. Uh, I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, I know there's a question in there. Okay. Hi. Just uh, whenever you finish, just pass it around. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Harmony. Okay. Um, okay. So, do you have any advice on balancing uh, culture with results? Hmm. Basically, I have an employee who is really, really good at his job, yeah. but he's also. Uh, Really, really massive jerk. Oh, man, massive jerk, huh? Huh? Yeah, right? We, we've been there. How many of us has been there? Right? OK, OK, um, this is tough. Uh, um, MP, yeah, yeah, you, why don't you take this one? You must have encountered your share of talented people who are difficult Absolutely. to work with. Absolutely. And uh, great question, Harmony. Uh, yeah, I think it, uh, Kind of goes with the uh, the territory when, when playing in, in a team sport. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, what guidance? Well, the way I see it, um, if he's that good, then everybody got to get up their feelings. Ew. Simply put, you know what I mean? You can't jeopardize your company's well-being because everybody in their feelings, including yourself. And I mean that with no disrespect. You seem like a lovely lady. So ignore the happiness of my employees in favor of devotion for the almighty dollar. Got it. Yeah, 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 no. No, no, that's not what we're going with. Now, Harmony, you got to where you are because of how great you are at your job, right? Now, if you really think this person is harming the morale in a way that can't be fixed, then you owe it to yourself as well as the other person to sit them down and have a conversation with them. Probably a well-needed conversation with them, in fact. But um, if you think your team is being too thin-skinned, you need to have that talk with them, too. Pretty much everybody needs a conversation. Um, that's pretty much all I'm saying. You know, ultimately, of course, it's your choice. Nobody knows your business or your staff like you do, so that choice is yours. Mm. Right there. Wow. I mean, huh? Out. Peace, man. Okay, maybe I'll take the next one. Harmony, is that good for you? Can I go now? Yeah, 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 if you must. Yeah, thank you. All right, all right. Who's next to share with us, huh? Ooh. Over here, huh? over here, uh, over here. Ooh. You, sir, right there. You, you, right there. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, is that call right there? Oh. I mean, okay. Uh, let's. I, yeah. This so, question from the gentleman right here. Okay. I was wondering if maybe you could give some advice for someone who's outgrown their mentor. Wow. Now, that's actually not something to be upset about. It's something to celebrate, you know? Because a true mentor should be happy if that happens. You know, I think any advisor would want to see their mentor, their mentee, reach a point where they, how do I say this? Uh, where their advisor is obsolete. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So now I'm obsolete? Yeah. Huh? 
I've lived a lifetime of hot dogs. What have you done? Dad, he's just saying that it's my restaurant and I'm entitled. Hey, you don't even display your ketchup. It's property. my restaurant. Oh. I'm entitled to my own condiment display. Okay. And now. your condiments are embarrassing. Oof. Just like you. Or, uh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know that no, was your no, dad. No, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, well, now, um. Thanks, MP, for helping out. You know, you know what? How about we take another question from one to someone else? From Wait, the hold on. I, I can uh, just ask. Let me ask another question. Are, are you sure? Yeah, I got this. Uh, you look like you have a good question. Yeah. Would you like the mic? Um, hi, my name is B, and I'd like to come. Um, I'm sorry. Can you speak up, dear? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm just a little bit nervous. And yet, you're asking a question. Now, that's a very brave thing to do. I think that deserves a round of applause. Everybody, come on, come on, come on now. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bia, um, right? Thank you. Please. B. B. B, please. Don't care. Um, uh, yeah. So, you mentioned earlier that when you were in college, you won a basketball competition match? Mm. I did, yes. Yeah. Um, cool. And then you transitioned into the professional league where you were very young and many people, some even on your own team, felt like, um, felt like the organization made a huge disservice in drafting you over someone more talented and perhaps one even would say a handsome player like Shep Owens, oh. who has unbridled athleticism oh. and uh, uh, beautiful uh, B, structure. B, hey, I don't mean to be rude, but... Um... Was there a question somewhere in there? Yes, absolutely. Uh, given those circumstances, how can anyone currently look to you as a leader? You know, B, that is a really great question. Uh, frankly, because of all those things you just mentioned, um, you know, there are some bad choices uh, that people still think were made, uh, but I can't control those. Because what I can do is show up every day, do my job, and help this team get better each day that I'm out there. Because a leader doesn't have to be the most talented or the most popular or the high-flying player. They only have to be willing to do whatever is necessary to help the group succeed. Mm -hmm. And that's what you got in me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well said. Well said. Thank you. I'm still Team Shep. Mm. Okay. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do another. Who here has any thoughts to share about what we've learned today? Yeah, I got a question. Huh? Yeah. Hello. Or, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Right here. Right here. Ah, we're good. Okay. Call it. I didn't give you enough credit. Really? It felt like you were trying to get rid of me. <laughs> those, those, those were challenging questions, and I, I assumed you weren't up to the challenge. So I kept trying to pivot away. But you? You handled those questions with aplomb, man. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, man. You, you did. Look, MP, leadership isn't about having the answers. It's about being willing to take the questions in the first place, man. Look, anyways, I just want to apologize because I was underestimating you, and I won't ever make that mistake again. So if you ever need me for marketing or anything, you know where to find me. Mm. And I'll give you the friends and family, Ray. All right? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that, Petey. For real. It's Peter. <laughs> My bad. Peter. I got you, man. And, uh, I had a good time. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Despite it all, I had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Likewise. My man. All right, well, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I'll see you around, MP.
saying, Chef, when you gonna host a leadership conference? Like my guy MP? Oh, he's such a mature young man, a great young man. Yeah. Homeboy's a few missed jump shots away from selling knives on late night TV. <laughs> I don't know about knives, but I'm about a juicer from him. You too can make $1,000 a day work from home. Click the link below and find out how. <laughs> and that's fire content. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Uh... Yo, my man K, bro. What's Yo, going MP. on? How you doing, fam? Bro, I'm chilling, man. Yo, thank you for making the time for see me, man. I appreciate that. No problem, bro. I've been keeping up with you for a long time now. Really? Yeah, for sure. I see you got on the plant-based thing. You one of us now. <laughs> oh, bro, hold on, hold on, <laughs> man. Hold on, I'm not vegan, but I, re I respect your lifestyle. Hold on. What you mean? Listen, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm the guy. I got all the info. All right. And it's pretty easy once you get into it. All right, I'll be sure to hit you, man. You know, but but I'm be honest, man. I considered going vegetarian at one point, but vegan, bro. Vegan, <laughs> how you doing, man? Yo, bro, I love cheese, man. I can't, yeah. Come nah, on, man. A lot man. of people say that, though. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Yo, but actually, I, I really want to uh, pick your brain about something. Um, how'd you adjust to the NBA? You know, all the expectations and being under the microscope, all the noise. Like, how do you do it? Yeah, it's tough. It's different. Um. I mean, I don't know exactly what you're going through in your situation, but, I mean, bro, I was number one pick. Ah, you were number one, huh? You were number one, <laughs> huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of pressure, though. It is, man. And, I mean, folks try to act like you can never miss a shot, it's which... Bro, but how do you deal with that? Like, I get it, you know, y'all not win as many games as you used to, but, like, bro, the expectations is wild. Right. I mean, for me, it's just about, you know, keeping the things that got me to this point. I mean, I hate losing, and I've always hated losing, so... You know, instead of getting comfortable with that, I just try to keep that hate for it and use it as fuel. Ooh, you preaching, man. That's tough right there. Tell that's you, tough. Whatever, and that's what whatever you're going through, like, use it. Use it as fuel. Don't, you know what I'm saying, put it to the side. That's my advice. That's good advice, bro. I really needed that, man. Appreciate it. No problem, bro. No problem. Hey, my man. Oh, and by the way, just wait next time. I'll get you that inside of discount, all right? That's good all looking right, out, bro. That's good minutes. looking out. Appreciate that, fam. <laughs> I'm going to catch you. You're ready. Freddie Novak was talking about you on the flex. <laughs> That's a good guy to have in your corner. What up, what up, what up? I got your message, man. You want to talk to me? Yeah, um, what's up? <laughs> Wait. Is this a joke? Because no. this, look, this looks like a joke. Nah, it's... It's not a joke, MP. All right, all right, let me, let me get this straight. Babe. Don't bait me right now, because it was you that wanted to work this thing from the floor up. We made this decision as a team, all of us. Don't go to Bobby right away. Oh, trust me. Uh, okay, this is my city, I know the city. You're hysterical right now. The sky is not falling, we have options. Yeah, I mean, we can fix this. You just gotta stay calm, all right? You know what, Rick? It's you that I should be mad at, because you're supposed to be the one who knows what he's doing, but look at us right now, look at him with this stupid face. After all the hard work that I put in. It's gotta be a joke, man. It's gotta be a complete joke. Billboards have very little penetration to the, the thought space of sports fans. There was Ashley, just an Ashley, Ashley, study Ashley. that came out. Not right now. Look, I get why you're upset, MP. But we can fix this. You're right. We can fix this. And I'm gonna be the one who fixed this, okay? 
So I need you to call Bobby right now because I'm done playing games with you guys. Can you do that for me? Understood. <laughs> 